We start with a point. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. This is the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog, and we're going to be looking at another one of the poll questions from the text version of this blog today. Uh, once again, uh, I always like to give you the reminder, if you go to 10thdimension.com slash blog, there's probably like, some new poll questions running there right now that you could express your opinion on. Poll 83 went like this. Cosmologist Dr. Sean Carroll says energy is not conserved in general relativity because as our space-time universe expands, so does the amount of energy. Do you agree with him? This poll ended on July 13th, 2011. And as you can see here, more people disagreed than agreed, which is not really that surprising. Haven't we all been taught that there is a finite amount of energy in the universe? Isn't the law of conservation of energy one that can never be broken? Every time a new free energy device is announced, the critics chuckle and say, that's impossible, you can't get something for nothing. So what's Dr. Carroll thinking about here? I've talked in this blog a number of times about Sean Carroll's writing, and it should be obvious by now that I'm a fan. His blog on the Discover Magazine website is called Cosmic Variance. And if you go there right now, I'm sure you'll find some new entries with some nourishing food for thought. My poll question relates to an entry of his from 2010 called Energy is Not Conserved. And I invite you to follow the link I'm showing you here and read the entire piece. Here's a couple of paragraphs to whet your appetite. It's clear that cosmologists have not done a very good job of spreading the word about something that's been well understood since at least the 1920s. Energy is not conserved in general relativity. The point is pretty simple. Back when you thought energy was conserved, there was a reason why you thought that, namely, time translation invariance. A fancy way of saying the background on which particles and forces evolve, as well as the dynamical rules governing their motions, are fixed, not changing with time. But in general relativity, that's simply no longer true. Einstein tells us that space and time are dynamical, and in particular, that they can evolve with time. When the space through which particles move is changing, the total energy of those particles is not conserved. There's much more to his entry than that, but reading these words is what prompted me to create the poll question we're looking at here today. If you're in the camp who disagrees, please read the whole entry and see if Dr. Carroll changes your mind about this fundamental question on the nature of our reality. Some of the other entries where I've talked about Sean Carroll's ideas include flow, how to time travel, temporal mass, and what's around the corner. You might also recognize him from his appearances on the excellent documentary series Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman, which if you haven't had a chance to watch it, I would highly recommend. Over the next few months, we're going to talk about some of the ideas raised in that series, starting with an entry called Imagining the Second Dimension. Till then, enjoy the journey.